he helped define the fashion of several generations. But what do we really know about him? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things you didn't know about Karl Lagerfeld. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most interesting information about this great designer. Number 10. He revamped Chanel So, we're guessing you know that Karl Lagerfeld was a designer at Chanel until the time of his death in February of 2019. But did you realize that he had held the position since 1983? In the early 80s, the great fashion house of Chanel was at risk of falling out of fashion, and then trendy designer Lagerfeld was brought in to revive the brand. He said of the brand at the time that it was a sleeping beauty, not even a beautiful one. She snored. I was to revive a dead woman. He was clearly successful, bringing Chanel back to the world stage to be the epitome of high fashion. Number 9. He really loved his cat Karl Lagerfeld was once asked to look after a friend's cat, and he grew so attached to her that he never gave her back. What's the story with Schupet? Because it sounds Schupet like a very... Schupet is a very strange thing because I never thought that I could fall in love with an animal like this. A friend of mine gave it to one of my mates and I'm leaving for two days, could you keep it for two weeks? When he came back, I thought, I'm sorry, Schupet is mine. I don't give Schupet back. He then turned her into an internet sensation, posting about her world travels and cuddly exploits on her Instagram page, which at the time of writing had over 160,000 followers. Schupet lives a high life and allegedly has two maids to help care for her as well as a bodyguard and a personal chef. Lagerfeld loved Schupet so much that he actually said in 2013 that he would marry her if he could. Number 8. He didn't want to reveal his age For many years, no one really knew how old Karl Lagerfeld was because he was intentionally mysterious when it came to his age, and for that matter, a number of things about his past. First of all, I have no opinion. Huh? I'm never happy with myself. Uh, I would give you, of course, a very flattering description, but I'm not sure I will believe. It's more to make believe other people. You know, I don't deliver a description of my person. You have what you see, that's all. There's nothing behind. Huh? It has been proven that he has lied about both his age and his family history at various points, making him appear to be younger than he really is. Some sleuthing revealed that he was born in 1933, making him 85 at the time of his death, though in 2008 he celebrated his 70th birthday, despite the fact that he was turning 75. You do you, Carl. Number 7. He wanted to be a cartoonist I remember telling myself, one day I'll be famous. I guess I must have been 5 or 6. Funny, huh? Sometimes it's easy to forget how closely tied fashion is to the fine arts. But when you watch Karl Lagerfeld sketch one of his designs, you know he was truly an artist at heart. Before he actually made it in fashion, though, he said he wanted to be a cartoon artist. He sat behind me in school. And sometimes I'd turn around and say, well, Karl Otto, what are you up to back there? And of course, he was drawing. No matter what we were doing in class, Karl Otto was always busy sketching. He decided ultimately that fashion would be more lucrative as a career, though. And in his case, we can safely say he was right. At the time that he entered the industry, however, being in the clothing industry was far from trendy. He said that his mother told him then, it shows that you are not a snob because otherwise you would never do a job like this. Number 6. He worked for Chloe before Chanel After working in the fashion industry for nearly a decade, Karl Lagerfeld began to do freelance work for the brand Chloe, which is known today as one of the most chic cool girl labels out there. He became the creative head of the brand in 1974 and then again in 1992. At the time, the company's image was decidedly different, and Lagerfeld helped to build it into what it would one day become. He helped usher in bold prints and a youthful aesthetic that we can still see in the lines they're coming out with today. His work with Chloe put him on the map and helped him end up at Chanel. Number 5. The press hated his first collection Lagerfeld got his start by winning a design competition that led him to work for the legendary Pierre Balmain as an assistant. Soon enough, though, he was working as Jean Poutou and designing his own collections. At this time, he was working under the name Roland Carl, and his first full collection was a complete disaster. Reporters in the audience reportedly even booed as his designs went down the runway. The garments he sent out were controversial, with one report saying that a couple of short black cocktail dresses were cut so wide open at the front that even some of the women reporters gasped. 
It just goes to show that even if you fail, you should always keep trying. Number 4. He once caused Anna Wintour to walk out on his show. Karl Lagerfeld has often made controversial statements, both on the runway and off. But in 1993, he managed to offend queen of fashion Anna Wintour herself, causing her to actually leave one of his fashion shows. At the time, he was designing for Fendi, and he decided on an unconventional move for showing their spring collection. Rather than having traditional models walk the runway, he hired porn star Moana Pozzi and a group of strippers to show the clothes instead. A bold move for sure, but it certainly doesn't seem worth walking out over. Number 3. He fired shots at Pippa Middleton and Adele Though he may have been a hugely influential part of the modern fashion world, Karl Lagerfeld wasn't without his faults. He was known for his outspoken attitude and often irreverent tone. And while many of his comments were witty and clever, others landed him in hot water for good reason. I want to know everything, see everything, but not necessarily participate in everything. I'm at home everywhere and nowhere. In 2012, he referred to Adele as being a little too fat, which caused ire across all platforms. He made a scathing comment about Pippa Middleton that same year when he said that he didn't like her face and that she should only show her back. Ouch. Number 2. He has some epic and relatable quotes While not all of his public comments have gone over well, some will inevitably be remembered for generations to come. I listen to my inner voices, like a French uh, uh, male version of Joan of Arc, and then, I do, <laughs> and then I do what I think is right for the moment and the circumstances. Huh? He was always full of witticisms, delivering memorable gems without ever missing a beat. He called vanity the healthiest thing in life, but derided selfies referring to them as electronic masturbation. He memorably referred to himself as very much down to earth, just not this earth. I have no idea if there's a secret of your or our success. I have problems formulating that, but maybe you're better with words than I am. There's no secret. The only secret is work. Huh? Huh? We'll get your act together. Huh? In the book The World According to Carl, he said, Sweatpants are a sign of defeat. You lost control of your life, so you bought some sweatpants. He's not exactly wrong. Number 1. He lost over 90 pounds to fit into a specific suit Despite his negative comments about Adele's weight, Karl Lagerfeld has actually had some body image issues of his own and has tackled his own weight loss journey. In 2001, Lagerfeld lost a staggering 90 plus pounds in just over a year for a very specific reason. He wanted to wear the Dior Ohm suits designed by Eddie Slimane. These fashions, modeled by very, very slim boys and not men my age, required me to lose at least 40 kilograms. If you want to try to lose weight like he did, check out the book The Karl Lagerfeld Diet, which was written about the method he used. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.